Let's start today with um, tango and we're going to, because we did our roundup the other day and um, I forgot to uh, mention the tango. So we're going to do a bit of tango, but then we're going to add a little bit to it. Now, if you remember, we talked about, or if you don't remember, we'll go over it again. We talked about the tango is a walking variation. So we're going to talk about posture, nice and long in the posture. Hold your body up nice and tall. Uh, I, <laughs> I just don't remember. Fantastic Judy Murray, I know, is watching. You, my love, were a legend at tango. A legend at tango. We did the chapel side. He <laughs> went like this and disappeared under the legs of Robin Windsor. Brilliant. Now, two walks. Left foot. Now, for the boys, you're going to go forward with your left foot. For the ladies, you're going to go backwards with your right foot. Just do two walks. We go walk, rock, left, walk, right. Then we do our rock. Remember, we did this rock, rock, rock. Then we go back, side, and then we close our feet together. Now, the ladies, who I'm going to do this a little bit quickly, and then we're going to move on to the new bit. So, for the ladies, you're going to go backwards or the followers. You can go backwards with the right foot. Back, back, and forward, 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 or rock, 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 step side together one more time so the men going forward or uh, if you like leaders going forward so we walk forward with the left foot walk forward with the right foot we do this rocking action rock 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 there we go and back side together <laughs> okay Ellie I won't and then we do it for the ladies we go back back rock 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 forward, side, together. Perfect. Now we're going to do, do you remember we did the link? Now this is a link, this is two steps. And it goes for the boys, left, right, for the girls, left, right. Now at the moment, everything we've danced over these few days, these couple of weeks, we've done natural opposite. So we've been doing the same thing, but just in mirror, just in natural opposite. So if I go forward my left, the lady will go backwards with her right and vice versa. Today, we're going to do a step that has a different step for both. So we're doing the same, a different thing at the same time. I couldn't even say it, that's how difficult it is. So we're gonna do our link, this is not it. So we're gonna go step forward in the left foot, and we're gonna turn, I do it this way. I'm gonna step forward in my left foot, I turn to face you with my body, and then step to the side with my right foot. I turn and step to the side, see that? I'm standing on my right foot now with my left foot available. Pointy toe, lovely jubblies. Pointy toes, bend your knees, gorgeous, head held high, buttocks firmly clenched, thighs held. And that gives you that sort of tango-esque sort of look. And then you can walk forwards with your left foot. Step. Ooh, it feels passionate already. It's a bit early for that on a Monday, but I feel it. I can't help it. I'm going to go backwards with the right foot. I go backwards with the right foot. For this is for the ladies. Now I step to the side and turn into what we call promenade position with my left foot. You see that? I turned and I step. I step, step, turn. See that? I do it together at the same time. One, turn. Now we're both facing the same way. This is called promenade position. We did this last week, but I'm doing it again. So we go back here in promenade position. How about that? Now, I'm going to check you've got that. All right. Okay. Fine, working fine now. It lasted six seconds. Yes, well, there you go. And step, turn for the ladies. Walk forwards like that. Gorgeous. And the men are doing step, turn, walk forwards. Now we're both walking forwards in the same direction like this. Now, for the girls, you go forward on that right foot, you then go forward on the left foot, then you step to the side with the right foot, and you close your feet. Best side. Close my feet. The boys, we do that. We go step, turn, then we go step, then we go step, then we go side, and then we close our feet. And at that moment in time, the ladies close their feet and they're back facing me again. Now we talked about the position. Remember that last week? We're standing in front of each other, not nose to nose and toes to toes, just slightly offset down this side of the tie. This is the ladies' side. This side of the tie, that's my side. Ladies there, boys here, like this, in this arm. Mom. All right? That's the position. So I can see past you, see where I'm going, and vice versa when you're coming forwards. Now, 
This is the new step. We're going to do a thing called a five step. So called because it's got five steps. And we go left foot for the boys from this closed position. I go forward and left. I step to the side with the right. I step backwards with the left. I step backwards with the right. And now I'm in, I'm in this position here. I want to be in promenade position again, the same as the link. So what I then do is I turn my body like this. I turn my body and at the same time I tap my foot. Tap. That's the fifth step or the fifth bit. So I'll do it. I go a one, a two, a three, a four, turn for five, five tap. Girls, you do this. You go back. You step to the sides. The man steps to the side. Now, this is a new thing. We're going to do a thing called stepping outside. Part I don't know why I came towards you when I said it. I felt it was like a moment. I thought we built it up too far. It's not that big a deal, but I've made it a thing now. I can barely help myself. So what I mean is this. I step Backwards, I step to the side, right? Now, when I step forward with this right foot, rather than stepping in here, where I'd normally step, right? So normally, girls, when I step backwards with my left foot, you step forward with your right foot, in there, all right? Seems very simple, doesn't it? I step back, you step forward, in there. When you're stepping outside partner, you don't step in here, you step over here. I know. Here, outside partner. Inside, outside. Inside, outside. Inside, outside. So I go, step two, I step back with my left foot, four, turn for five. Ladies, go one, two, three, outside. Carry on walking forward for four, and then turn to face the other way, for five. Hoo, hoo, hoo. There's a lot going on for the ladies on this particular step. Sorry, girls, it's just the way it is. And now from there, we can do, if you wish, you can go into your close promenade again. Step, step, side, close. Just to finish it off. But we might add something on the end of that. Maybe not today, but another day perhaps. How are we doing here? Anything else? So we go, boys. Forward, side, back, back, turn, point. Very simple. Very simple. Girls, you go back, side, forward, outside partner, forward, turn, tap. That's called the five step. Got five steps? Five step. There you go. Now, morning, Lauren, Ellie. Morning, promise not to tell you, boss. Carl, I'm sorry about the six second thing. Amy, morning, my love. Leslie, lovely job, Liz, lovely. Julie, can't get it. Well, I'm back here now, so hopefully you can get me. That was eight minutes ago. Vicky, we are. We're tangoing. Lovely to see you this morning. Now, so let's just, I want to talk to you a bit about posture again. Now, so remember the thing about. Um, uh, lovely Darcy Bustle, we're going to shoulders roll, we're going to keep these themes going, so we just keep the whole thing consistent. So roll your shoulders, and on the final one, just hold them down. Don't pin them back. This is the mistake people make. They feel like if your shoulders are down, you have to pin them back like this. This obviously looks ridiculous, but I'm stating them. I look ridiculous. Comfortable? No, not really. So I'm just going to roll and just leave them down, like that, like a normal person. Long neck with a little slope on the shoulder. See that? Look at that. Marvellous. See, the chest held high there. You can see I've been doing press-ups over the last few days. Don't you? And the head is up. The barnet is inexplicable. The knees are very slightly bent. So I don't want straight knees. I don't want them straight. I just want to just relax my knees. So as though you've just gone, uh, with the knees. Like that. Uh. And those knees, gorgeous. Now they're perfect. Now, the dairy girl, you've just got to hold. I told a story about an old, an old teacher used to talk about his old teacher, is going back a long time now, had an avocado nut. And he said, you'd have to have that, hold the avocado nut between the buttocks of the dairy girl. Now, I never mentioned the fact that you can take it out when you leave the lesson. You don't have to, leave, you don't have to, just so you know. But frankly, what happens is if the bottom goes backwards, the nut falls out and you, you find you've dropped your nut. 
No one wants that. You just got to keep the thing held. You don't have to grip it. You just got to hold it like that. A soft grip between the buttock and you walk. This isn't medical, by the way. This is just a method. And you walk and you walk and see what happens to my body. If I think about that, you don't actually have to do it. But if you think about that, it just keeps everything in nicely in line. Look at me. One and two and rock, rock, rock and back side together. Look at that. Now, the feet are a wonderful thing. So when I'm walking forwards and backwards, I'm just going on the hill like a normal walking action. Like you'd walk to the bus. Oh, the days of walking to get the bus. Imagine the joy of being able to walk down the road to get a bus. So you go walk, walk, just the normal walking action like this. And for anybody who's walking backwards, it's the same principle. You go through the toe onto the flat, through the toe onto the flat. Just a normal walking action. But if you do it in a slightly exaggerated way, so you use your feet and you start to rise to your toes, just do this action. This is a great workout for the feet. Now, one thing we never work really hard enough on is our, our feet, our rise and fall in life. This is So this is a very important part of staying in shape, starting from the ground and working all the way up. Now, if you work your, your feet nicely like this, that starts to work your calves. We've talked about this. And, up, and everything starts to go up. Then you're starting to work the knees. That's good. But you don't have to do massive squats. You're just doing sort of gentle knee right raises. And now you're working the thighs. And the old dairy go goes up, which is marvellous because the speedos will come out soon. And we're all going to look high and marvellous. And then we're going into the middle. You see? This is it. See how the middle is? We all have a high, firm middle. Gorgeous. Marvellous. Shoulders are rolled, down they go. And now I've got a lovely posture. This takes all the pressure off the back, or if you've got dodgy knees, or any of these sorts of things. If you do these sorts of exercises, it takes the pressure off, and it, it adds a bit of tone. I like a bit of tone. Tone is good. Marvellous. Now, so let's do that five step one more time. Here we go, we go. Step to the side, forward rather. Start that again. Do as I say, not as I do. And do forward, do side, go back. Go back and turn. That's the fifth bit. Then we go forward, side, together. Forward, forward, side, together. For the ladies, going backwards. We go like this. We go back, side, forward, forward, turn, pointy toe. There it is. Like that. There's five. Then we can go forward, forward, side, together. Now remember, ladies, step three, outside partner. Do that again one more time. One, two, three, four, five. All right? That's the five step. You've done two walks, rock turn, into a close, uh, uh, backside together, backside together, close promenade, link, close promenade, five step. And you can add a close promenade on the end of that. Just coming back to zero position. Now the arms, again, you remember to talk about the arms, arms up. Shoulders down, elbows up. Pick up the arms from the elbows. Do you see that? Try and support them with the underneath of the arms rather than the top of the arms. Like that. Here we go. And if you can hold them there, oh, you're adding tone to everything. Ladies, natural opposite. Your hand goes on top of the man, man's arm, and the man holds your hand. So you're facing each other with palms. So the man's palm goes this way, ladies' palm goes that way. Close fingers. Hand goes round the back. On the, for the feathers, just under the shoulder blade. Shoulder blade's up there, not there. That's something entirely different. Shoulder blade. Hand on the shoulder blade, just round the back. Lady's arm on the upper arm. All right? Now you've got the perfect position. This all should be a piece of the old cake. Rebecca, good morning. Now, uh, what was I going to talk to you about? Oh, I was going to talk to you about this. Now, this is really exciting. We had a bit of a nightmare doing this morning. Technical nightmare. Couldn't get started, but we got started. We've got ourselves a YouTube channel. Yes! I'm going to give you the info. Now, here we go. It's on here somewhere. Let me have a look. Here we go. Uh, what's that on there? Oh, no. What's that on there? Let's... Uh, uh, right. Here we go. YouTube channel. Anton Dubeck. That's me. Dot TV. That's that. Forward slash YouTube. Easy. Anton Dubeck. Dot TV. Forward slash YouTube. It'll all be on the Twitter anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll know. But what you have to do is you have to click on the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, you just got to click. Click subscribe, and then you can, we're gonna put all this, we're gonna do all of this stuff 
on the YouTube channel rather than across Twitter because then we'll have less sort of interruptions and it will be you can watch it on the telly rather than on your phone and oh, you can still watch it on your phone if you want to and um and it'll just be a bit better quality and then we can put more sort of stuff on there and we can have a bit more fun with it all so um we're going to do that in a few days give you a few days to sort of get up to speed with it and uh subscribe and then we're going to come off twitter and then go on to the youtube channel which is going to be very very exciting you all just, just download if you've got it on your phone you want to do it on your phone just download the youtube uh, app if you don't already have it on your phone just go to the well, wait, on the apples it's the app store of course um but anyway thank you very much indeed that is that that and done done that thank you and oh, no, one more here uh yes oh we've got one very technical question here before we go from marion she wants to know i think she's talking about viennese walls in the left turn should you cross your feet at any point in the viennese walls you do when you go forwards, you go forward. I just do this very quickly, and then we'll come back to this maybe later this week. But for Marion, Marion in a private lesson here, we're going to go. For, it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. On the bit when you're turning left, going forwards, you go forward to the side. Now, rather than close your feet, you cross your foot in front and transfer weight, and then you can go backwards on the right foot. Does that make sense? We'll do it one more time. So I go forward, side, and then I cross my feet, and then I can go backwards on the right foot. So it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl, when you go to the left in Viennese Waltz, you cross your foot. Left foot in front of right. That's the golden rule of life. When you're crossing going backwards, you cross in front, and vice versa. When you're crossing going forwards, you cross behind. This is a question for another day. We'll do this, we might even do this tomorrow. So, Marion, I hope that cleared that up for you. Thank you very much, Lee. I love this sort of thing, all these sort of questions. I, and So, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Andrew, I hope it wasn't too annoying with the phone in my hand today, but it works so much better if I do. Uh, much love. Have a great day. The sun's out. We're going to sit by the window and look at the sun. Have a great day. Stay safe. Much love.